Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here, and today I have some really good news. It's one that I've been waiting for for a long time, which is that Blender is finally coming to the iPad. And it's going to be a full version of Blender, not like a, you know, the iPad versions of software that we usually tend to get. So without further ado, let's just hop straight into it. So for those of you who don't know, Blender is kind of like an all-in-one 3D app. You can do 3D animation, 3D modeling, um, all types of things um, that I'm not even personally aware of. You can also do sculpting. And then they. what's also interesting personally to me is they also have a 2D animation suite called um, Grease Pencil. And I've been using Grease Pencil for years. And I personally am like a Microsoft Surface user. So I'm just very happy to hear that Blender is not only coming to the iPad, but also to all types of multi-touch devices. They're just going to first be trying to build out the infrastructure for Blender on multi-touch devices on the iPad. And they're going to do a lot of previews and show us the development. And something that's cool about Blender is that it's an open source software, which means you can totally customize this software. You can create your own add-ons if you know how to code. You can also download add-ons that are given to the community and it's a free app. Um, so hopefully it remains free on the iPad. I've seen a lot of free things come to the iPad and that find, and all of a sudden they have a price. But either way, it's actually like an industry leading software with a lot of very, very big professionals using it. It was used on very big productions like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So it's just a very interesting thing to see come to the iPad and hopefully it can come to even the lower end I iPad devices, though I doubt it will happen. It might only come to the M1 devices, but they haven't confirmed anything yet because they're still testing the development. So we can take a look here at the official Blender website where we can see that they said they have the idea to bring it to all types of multi-touch devices, not just the iPad. So they're also interested in Microsoft Surface, Huawei MatePad, and Wacom Move Ink Pad, among others. I believe it should also be coming to Android systems as a whole. And I think actually a few of these run off Android. Um, they say they'll be making UI and UX improvements if you've ever used Blender, you would know that it has so, so many menus. Some of them, I'd say a lot of them feel unnecessary. And I've always kind of wanted Blender to get on the iPad to like really optimize the user experience of the application, because I think we don't need to be jumping around so many menus to complete a lot of tasks in Blender. And I honestly think it's especially for the Apple Pencil Pro, it really makes sense because in Blender, you often end up using the right mouse button and the middle mouse button. And I think that the middle mouse button could be implemented to with the Apple Pencil Pro when it with its new squeeze button. So I really want to see how they implement gestures and also the double tap and squeeze on the Apple Pencil. Um, we can see here that they say there are a few challenges, which is that smaller multi-touch devices have less window um, real estate. There's no keyboard or mouse. There's a multi-touch interface, which is touch and pen, limited processing power and battery, which means they're going to have to work around all these complications and really optimize the application so it works better for tablets. They also dropped a few mockups that we can see here. Um, we can see that versus how Blender usually looks, this is a totally new look because we have windows that just pop up as we hover over them or click on them. And it really creates a really clean look versus how Blender usually looks. Usually you have a very desktop looking application with a ton of menus that are kind of visually distracting. And that's also always bothered me as a Blender user personally, because it's like you are reading so much text while also trying to get your art out as, as an artist or 3D modeler. Um, it, it just it becomes like a very visually confusing mess to me personally. So I'm glad to see that they're really cleaning up the look here. And hopefully this can come to all versions of Blender because I use a Microsoft Surface, which is just a straight up laptop, tablet, 
hybrid and I'd like love to see like real multi-touch um interactions in there because as of right now I can't even zoom in when I do like a regular tap zoom gesture <laughs> on my what Microsoft Surface so I really want to see how they change this app up we can also see that they have a radio menu on the left and I'm assuming that we'll be able to customize what you usually the buttons that you usually would use in blender we can see they have shift alt alt control and a quick menu um the quick menu a lot of time would be where you store a lot of your shortcuts it's kind of like a favorites menu where you can just click on different shortcuts in blender so they say in this demo you can see that menus are collapsed by default which I guess means once you're done using it, it will automatically collapse. A helper overlay with curated shortcuts. A tool panel moved from the sidebar into a floating pop-up. And tool settings header has been removed. Um, so yeah, I, I think this just cleans up the app a whole lot. They say that they're going to be showing off the development of this as it goes along. As of right now, so far, what they've confirmed will be in here is multi-touch events and gestures, handling multiple active editors slash regions, a wheel menu, and an interactive status bar. Oh, and actually look at what I was just requesting. They said the tablet specific, specific application should be available both on desktop and tablet versions of Blender. So you can download the tablet version of Blender on your desktop just fine and the desktop version. So they say the next steps is that they'll be showing off the Blender on iPad in a few different places. So they're going to be showing it off at the Blender booth at SIGGRAPH 2025 as well as the Blender conference of, in 2025 which is actually taking place on September 17th to September 19th this year. So I'm very excited to see that. And always guys, as you know, Blender is a nonprofit organization. So you can always donate to Blender to support its development further. So now I'll get into like something I personally hope, which is just one thing that I've always um thought more app developers <laughs> should use on the iPad. Um, and then what I, what it is, is I think that we should get more radial menus that work with the squeeze gesture, kind of like if you click the squeeze gesture, a menu will just pop up right where your cursor is above your iPad, and then you'll be able to quickly select something. And I'll actually jump into a quick demo of what I mean with an application I currently have on my desktop, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So for my example here, we have Blender open and what I'm going to want to do is I just want to basically I would squeeze with this pen as if it's the Apple Pencil squeeze and it would activate a button and then I can select my shortcuts. Then I go to my eraser here, I click on my eraser and I start erasing. I'm sorry that my computer is moving kind of slow, so it may not look the best. And then let's say if we want to go back to our drawing tool, we just click that and click on draw and we're drawing again. And you could just quickly switch from different things like diff different tools by using something like that. They actually have something kind of like that in Procreate. Or another thing we could do is just have like draggable menus like this that I have right here. And we can just select our tools from here. I think when you select tools from the top of your artwork, it's very easy to adjust quickly and it works very well for touch screens. I just noticed because I've been working with the Microsoft Surface for so long and it is a nice device, but it works so poorly because it's working on Windows and it's not very touch friendly that I've had to work with all types of different applications to get the intended result. I have all types of applications running in the back. Like if I double tap with my finger, just like on the iPad, I can undo, but I have to run an application just for that to be able to work. And you see here clicking and I'm undoing. So those are just some things I personally would like to 
bring to Blender. If you have anything else that you could think of, please let me know in the comments what you're hoping for with this application. And if you're excited for this at all, or if you're just going to stick with the applications that you're using right now, that's all for today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And remember, you can always join the Discord to ask any questions about things upcoming for the iPad or to learn about any art, iPad art or animation applications. Have a good one. Bye.